While it's true that Link will allow you to write all of your data access in .NET without writing a line of SQL, many organizations have already determined that using stored procedures to retrieve the data from their database is the preferred way of accessing the data. Now, I'm not here to argue one way or the other on that option, but what we are going to look at today is how to use the Link to SQL classes, let's call that L to S from now on, eh? that in combination with the stored procedures is possible. So, move back over here to our test project that we've been using. And we're going to move over here to our data classes, our, our L2S classes. And the first piece, getting the update and insert and delete methods hooked up to this link to single classes is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is go over to the server explorer and we're going to open up the store procedures and I've already created an update store procedure uh, to use with this demo. These are update addresses and what we're going to do is just drag and drop this over to this right panel here. And now, when we go into the properties, we can select sorry, select the uh, address table and go into the properties. And we can select for our update method, instead of use runtime, we can do customize update address. That's the store procedure that we just dragged and dropped on. Now, address doesn't map to any of the fields that are in our select statement. So what we need to do here is tell it that we want to map it to the address one field uh, that came back originally. So address, the rest of it's all there. Hit the apply. And now anytime we call the update method for our address table, it's actually going to go call this update stored procedure that we, we put in there. Now that's the pretty easy update, insert, delete, but you'll notice that the one piece that's not in here is a select statement. How do we get a select stored procedure to fill the address table? And that piece takes a little bit of hunting over the internet, but here's how you do it. We're going to go back over here to our link grid view and select our link data source, go into properties here, and events, and what we want to do is we want to create a selecting event handler. And in this selecting event handler, what we're going to do is we're going to call the select method, and we need to go back here and just add one other thing. We've got a get addresses method. We're going to drag and drop this get address method onto the address table. You don't want to drag it directly over to this right hand pane because then it won't know what data type it's returning. But if you drag it onto this address table, it knows, okay, I'm going to be returning uh, an address table uh, type of thing. So we can go back to our grid view now and we can create a new uh, instance of that data class. So data classes context. Call the get addresses method that we just called there. And we're going to assign that. To our result. And the final thing we need to do here is convert this to a list. When it first comes back and thinks it's just a single result. We convert it to a list and this actually converts it to a list of type uh, address, which is uh, the row type. Now if we run this,
there's our list. And just to prove that it's calling selecting method, we'll set a breakpoint in there. Stop. 